Hi, it's Adrian. How are you doing today? And so I was literally getting ready to walk out the door and a uh, package arrived and I was just like, oh, 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 oh. And not only that, but I've been thinking about uh, Valentine's Day and I really like the flowers. I love the candy. I love the little kids doing the treats back and forth to each other and the flowers and all the good stuff. Um, and at the same time I was wanting to go ahead and play with some burgundy shades and so um, yeah but then I am a little bit cynical about Valentine's Day in general so that kind of worked into all of this so why don't we go ahead and get started with what I have on and I'll show you yeah how my cynicism kind of showed up here so I had the glow oil by um, super goop this has spf of 50 in it and like i've said i've had mine for about six months now and i only use it on my face pretty sure i'm gonna get about a year's worth of usage out of it so it is a little bit more expensive but you know if you want to commit to spf it's definitely an option out there and um the other primer that I have on is the Hard Candy Glow Serum Primer. And so uh, what I've been doing is I went ahead and got the Maybelline Superstay C Plus 24 Hour Skin Tint. Got mine in 102. I think it's the lightest shade out there. And then I've been going ahead and playing with glowy primers. And so far I did go ahead and uh, use the Hard Candy with it. And today's actually, I've only had it for less than a week so far, um, but I'm trying it with all sorts of stuff. It worked really well with the e.l.f. Um, Halo Glow Filter, so I didn't have any problems there. So I'm assuming I'm not going to have any problems with the Hard Candy Glow Serum. Um, this actually, when you look at it in the bottle, it does have shimmer in it, but when it gets to your face, it doesn't really have shimmer in it. So I was expecting much more of a glowy formula, and I didn't get it. So I'm trying to add in a little bit more glow actually and so if you're concerned about this particular formula just having glitter on your face I don't think you need to worry about it um, again that hasn't been my experience with it uh, let's see I did go ahead and use the essence thick and well for in caramel blonde for the brows and the elf lash extender as well and um, so far, I'm having really good luck with the lash extender. Again, I got both of these at the same time, and so I've had them less than a week. So far, I don't have anything negative to go, no, about. So I'm enjoying those. And um, let's see, as far as what I have on the lips, I have the uh, Hard Candy My Type, and this is actually a plumping um, gloss. And... You can get the Hard Candy uh, products over at uh, Walmart. You can also get the Relove Revolution. I have this on as well. This is the Baby Gloss, and this one's in Sweet. So I have both of these on. And then I did go ahead and put the Elf um, Lip Oil on as well. And so that's how that's turning out right there. As far as what I did for the cheeks today, I've just been blending everything today. Um, again, I started out thinking that I was going to do a different look. Actually, like I said, I was just about done with that look when this um, parcel arrived. So um, I do have on the e.l.f. And this is the Halo Glow in Candlelight, which is their pink shade. And then I also have the ColourPop Flamingo on as well. And again, one of my favorite products. Yes, I did break out the packaging because I tend to use it a lot. And so I had these two on. And now we get to the new stuff. And... Um, one of the reasons I placed the order was I've been wanting to try one of the glam light highlighters for a long time. I've seen, you know, I've seen them on YouTube like everybody else, and they just seemed really pretty. So I don't know if this one is really showing up a lot, but um, 
to go ahead and pick up the Scooby-Doo. It was sold out, or this particular highlighter was sold out for a while. And so when I was on the website and I saw it was on there, I was just like, yay! And it is holographic, so it is changing from Ghoulies to Scooby and Shaggy and then Ghoulies. So yeah, I do like that about this particular it just works with scooby-doo so yeah it works with the theme so you actually get two highlighters uh one has a gold shift and one has a pink shift and i think they both have gold and pink in them and let's see if i can put a little bit more on here i mean you can never have too much highlighter right it's one of those amazing wonderful things so yep there's a highlighter and yes, it is giving me a pink glow that in person is glowing to the stars and back. So yeah, I'm um, really glad with this, or really happy with this purchase. The other purchase I made was, like I said, I was feeling cynical about Valentine's Day, which isn't new. It happens all the time with me. Um, but I also really wanted to play with some burgundies and some darker shadows. And I'd gotten from Glamlight um, their Friday the 13th palette, the Crystal Lake one, and you know, realized that I could actually work with their darker shadows because I thought for a while there that it was just going so dark that I might not be able to go ahead and do anything with it. So like I said, I got the Crystal Lake and of course being cynical about Valentine's Day, I got crazy in love, the Chucky palette. So yeah, I, I, I know I have an attitude situation going on, but you know, it happens. So this is the palette and it is very, very dark. And if you want to work with some burgundies and maroons and um, some grays and blacks, this would probably be a good palette to go ahead and do that with. Um, these are the swatches that I have from it. And as you can tell, um, it does run really, really dark. And so I really wasn't expecting it to be this dark, but I have so many palettes that I can go ahead and mix with it that I'm not that upset about it. Um, like I said, I've been wanting to play with burgundy, and um, this palette just has a lot of that in it. So I did go ahead and put this color on the inner corner. And then I put this color on the inner corner as well. Put this right on the middle of the lid and then this color on the outer corner. And I did go ahead and use this color um, right under the eye as an eyeliner. And I put some of this in the crease before I put these ones on. And I did end up with a really dark look. Here's the way that it looked, turned out. So that's kind of what it ended up being. And like I said, um, this is a palette that I'm probably going to use in conjunction with other palettes. But I, I wanted to do something in the winter that I don't usually do. Because I usually end up with a Valentine's palette that's, you know, cute and cute and cute. And this time, with this one being available and having a whole bunch of colors that I wanted to play with, I thought, yeah. It could work. So uh, that's my Valentine's Day uh, purchase, and it is creepy, and uh, <laughs> that's okay with me. Um, so far, it's uh, easy to blend, which was one of my main concerns, which is why I didn't get it at the offset. And then, like I said, I got the Friday the 13th palette, and um, it blended really easily. And um, even though they were darker shadows, as you can see, they have a lot of pigment, and they just really caught my eye, and I just kept on thinking about it and um, going back to it. And so, I'm kind of glad I picked it up. So, uh, happy spooky Valentine's, and um, I'll see you later. Bye.